Hey everyone, I hope you're staying safe. Um, I saw a question the other day on one of the plethora of Wing Chun forms, and I thought it'd be interesting to talk about. Um, let me give credit where credit is due. The question is from Gerald Smith. What is different and special about Bill form power generation? Now, before I get into my thoughts on it, um, Please excuse my pronunciation. I'm a Yankee transplanted into the South, learning Cantonese from a Hong Kong native speaking English, um, a bunch of Southerners trying to speak Cantonese. You look around on the web, you, you see Bill G, Bill G, Bill Z, a bunch of different ways to pronounce it. Today I'm going to try and stick with Bill G or Bill Z. But, you know, if you pronounce it differently or if you've got a problem with my pronunciation, leave a comment. But none of us are perfect. Especially when trying to speak a foreign language that is by no means native and I have made some minor attempt to learn this language, but I'm a long way from being able to even roughly speak it um, back to the question what is the di what is different and special about Bill G form power generation and I find it interesting the questioner Mr. Smith asks it from the context of the form itself but if we look at Wing Chun or, or think about Wing Chun kind of the way it tends to be taught and the way it's laid out uh, Silum Tao teaches us the shapes and general functions of what we do with our hands. Our body movement is not, you, there's not a lot of body movement in there, um, but it teaches the shapes, the positions. Um, generally, it's considered to kind of be the alphabet, the beginner, the primer of Wing Chun. Your power generation in Silum Tao, or your power generation in the Build Z form, should be no real, not really different from the power generation in Silum Tao. Uh, Silum Tao is to teach you the basics, how to generate power in a given shape. You throw the Build G. Ideally, it should come. It starts with the feet. Um, most people focus on the hips. That's fine. Um, hips, elbows, hand. Hip, elbow, hand. And that's where your whipping action comes from. Like uh, in your sat sow, you throw the hip, the elbow, the hand. Um, same with the Bill G itself in the form. The Silum Tao, like I said, is kind of the alphabet, the primer. From what my study and research suggests uh, the Bill G form, one of the last forms generally taught, often taught in closed door if we go back in time. Nowadays, it all kinds of get, gets lumped together. But the Bill G form is about recovery from a bad position. We get, say, trapped and we find a way to regain our structure, regain the position. Uh, Silum Tao, hand positions. Chum Q, movement of the body. Build Z, we got in a compromising position. How do we regain our structure from that compromising position? But power generation, that's the same across the board. Doesn't matter which form you pick. Mook Yang Jong, Ba Cham Do, Silum Tao, Chum Q, Biu Ji. It's all the same power generation. At least that's my thoughts on it. Um, some of you may disagree. Leave a comment. Um, if you have another thought on it, <laughs> leave a comment. See if we can get a little genera uh, discussion generated. Hope you all are staying safe. Hope y'all aren't too freaked out by uh, the COVID quarantine. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye.